All right, guys, we picked up two brand new 2023 600R race sleds. These things haven't seen the snow yet. They haven't had any fuel ran through them yet because the plan for the day is to convert our dirt bike track over into a snow cross track, which we'll be showing you guys in a little bit. So we figured these are the best sleds that you can buy right now, the best race sleds, the top tier race sleds. So we went back to 2002 and we picked up the best race sled that you could get at the time for 2,200 bucks, a Pro X 440. This thing is an absolute gem. It's pretty mint. Honestly, it's more mint it's than we would have needed. So yeah, we wanted to see what's changed over the last 21 years. Probably a lot, maybe not as much as you would think. Either way, we're gonna have a good time on both of them. And we're gonna find out if Evan can keep up on the 440. Gotta love the old 440s. Ben's been kind of trash talking this thing off camera. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. All right, but anyways, we got our boy Kevin showing up today with his snowcat, and he's basically gonna be plowing our track, building up all the snow, building bigger jumps for the snowmobiles. And then on top of that, we have our friend Adam Peterson coming over. He's a professional snowcross racer, and uh, he'll, he'll really show us probably how to ride. All right, now that we got the race sleds, we had to convert our dirt bike track over into a snow cross track. So we called in our buddy Kevin who has a snow cat and uh, it looks like he's getting straight to work pushing snow. <laughs> Dude, it's amazing how much snow this thing can move in just one swoop. weeks probably. Really stuck most of the time. smoke both these guys on this old thing. I know you are. He actually is. That's the funny thing. All right, we're just pulling up to the track. We haven't seen it yet, uh, but Kev's been hard at work. He said it's looking pretty good, so we'll see how it looks. She done? Smooth enough. Added rollers everywhere. All the jumps are bigger than they were before. <laughs> In about 15 minutes, I'm gonna look like a professional snowcross racer. All right, we'll see about Dude, that. Evan? All right, Ryan, three lap race? Sure. Drop it. Drop it. Can I have a two lap head start? <laughs> <laughs> I just been lifting my feet a bank hole, out of sand gold, got it flooded to my ankles, need a brain cold, pair of boots and a dang bow, got it stay slow, I might pull up in a stage coach, playing big toe, whoa. I think Mike just broke the front bumper on that. No way. Yeah. Evan slams on the brakes and Mike runs right into the back of him. I ran there we go. go. All right, good as new. Carry on. I just been lifting my feet up. Hey. I think I cased every jump as hard as it's possible to case it. I literally went on that one straight into the dirt. Man, he really is just going for it, huh? All right, our buddy Adam just got here. This dude's a professional snowcross racer. Like, he's a real deal. He basically just showed up and just started hitting all the jumps. How's it feel? That one's got some potential. 100 footer? Yeah, we should lift that thing up. Go 
Jumps are looking a lot bigger. Yeah, who's supposed to hit those? I think Adam's just building jumps for himself at this point. Oh, that's good. I've done uh, I've done Half enough jumping for today. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my couple laps was good enough. Did you get her set up the way you like? Uh, that one might be a little steep. <laughs> I was just saying that. I don't think anyone else is going to be able to hit these. I think you can probably backflip that one. <laughs> All right, guys, as Adam begins to build some bigger jumps for himself over there, I want to tell you about today's video sponsor, Celsius. As you guys may know, we've been drinking Celsius around the shop for a while now. We really enjoy the long-lasting, no-crash energy that it gives us, all while having zero sugar and no preservatives in it. My personal favorite is the new sparkling lemon-lime flavor. You can get this at any grocery store, any gas station or even online at Amazon and PAX but we're confident that you guys will like Celsius so go out and give it a try and big shout out to them for sponsoring today's video um, now let's go watch Adam hit some big jumps <laughs> That was high. Dude, you're so Dude, fast. that thing has got a good kick to it. I was like, I'm gonna try and do a little whip, and that thing kicked me. I was like, hell yeah. Hey, better fire up the old Pro X for this one. You better. I was getting jealous. <laughs> no one else can steal his camera time. <laughs> I'm here to do jumps, not this guy. He has been kind of eyeing him up a little bit. Did he even introduce himself? No. <laughs> of course not. He hasn't. As soon as you showed up, he's like, that's my competition for the day. <laughs> we really set Evan up for failure on that snowmobile. <laughs> All right, here comes Mike. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Mike, Mike, you good, bro? You good? Dude. Good ejecto! That was the first time like fully ejected off of a vehicle in the air. The landing was soft, thank God. Yeah, seriously, that would have been a different story if it was to dirt. Had a boy, Mike. We're going big there. <laughs> That's the biggest jump here for sure. <laughs> pretty easy. Like that doesn't look that bad. I'm like, oh sweet, yeah, you just hit it fast and you land. I just took it off to cool down. <laughs> All right, the rest of our soul bills are in. Three weeks ago, we really didn't have mini sleds, and now it yeah. seems like we have a ton. Yeah, we really have a tendency of overdoing things. So we got four more. One of them's a mountain sled, and then three of them are for around here. It's kind of like opening Christmas presents, figuring out which one's which. Let's see what's underneath this zipper. The best part is we don't know what colors they are. The way they get sent to us is we don't get to choose the colors, so it's really fun for us. Ooh. All black. Blacked out. Blacked out. Everyone used to just order their own snowmobiles and you could customize them. Now, the whole group just gets a fleet of snowmobiles and we all just share them and we all ride them together. So like, we really don't know which one's which when we get them. I mean this in the most humbled way. It's the greatest problem ever. Not a day goes by that I'm not insanely excited. Another midnight. <laughs> all right, so this one, is a 900 cc. It's the first year that they ever did that. Oh! Every single one. Ooh. <laughs> we got another switchback. Neon tunnel going hard too. Oh, oh matching. There we go. Hope we need it. 
right. The rest of the fleet. All right, we're gonna set these things up. Probably go for a ride, maybe go hit the ditches, but we got these things styled in. All right, before the sled's even out of the crate, we're gonna swap out the cans for some GGB exhaust. Sounds a little bit better. Somebody say GGB? stuff smart car dirt bike pit bike trike a lot of things never on a snowmobile so see how this goes i'm nervous for him if this goes good i'll hit it on this all right perfect <laughs> that's ken's slide i don't know if it looked as endo as it felt yeah, it, it did it did oh <laughs> you still want to do it i don't know that was <laughs> <laughs> i don't know ken can i do this yeah, go ahead. If you, feel, yes, if you feel comfortable do doing it, go ahead. <laughs> All right, Polaris, if you're watching this right now, it's like, oh, the Sea Boys are such bad influences. This is his idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he technically, he did it. He kind of just jumped it, but. Heck yeah. Dude, did I even touch it? I think it might have hit somewhere. <laughs> you used it as a ramp. Count it as success. Chalk it up. Yeah. All right, let's roll. Did Mike just tie him? <laughs> Forgot Ryan doesn't know how to race. <laughs> it was like a dead tie. We need more run out. Ken, get farther back. How fast do we want him going? Like 120? I don't know. Maybe it, maybe he's got some turbo leg. <laughs> yeah, it was way closer than I thought it would be. But also, that's the thing to keep in mind. It only adds a really small amount of boost at elevation. And then the higher you go up, the more boost it adds. So it's really not a ton more powerful at whatever we are, 900 feet, 1,000 feet. All I know is I didn't get traction until I was past Ken when I let off. I was literally uh, just spinning the entire time. Let's run one more. All right, that made a little bit more sense. Ryan walked him on that one. I beat him that time for sure. You can tell it's fast by the way the skis don't touch the snow most of the time you're on the throttle. Like they literally <laughs> just stay up like this. They're just perched. All right, so we're lining them all up now. We got two Switchback 850s and then a Switchback 850 boost as well as a Indy VR1 850 and then an actual Polaris 600R race sled right here. This is the ultimate drag race when it comes to snowmobiles. Let's find out who wins. Three, two, one. I think Ryan took it. He's got the most horsepower, so I hope he did, but I'm pretty sure he won. 
Do you win? Yeah. Let's go. Dude, the whole time though, I just heard Adam like right back there. Just, ah! Really? Yeah.